What's up everybody? Kyle from Pisces Pet Emporium here. Today we're going to talk about how to properly measure our snakes, weigh our snakes, and why it's important to do those things on a regular basis. I walk in place and we sell animals. So we're going to use Emma here. This is Emma Frost, the White Queen, one of our corn snakes here that we have at Pisces Pet Emporium. So it's important to weigh and measure our snakes on a regular basis to make sure that growth is consistent and that our snakes aren't losing weight. Sometimes our snakes will go occasionally a little bit of time here and there without eating anything, and that's not really a big deal as long as they're not losing weight while they're doing it. Now, a lot of times people try to do things like measuring the snake by holding it on the ground and putting a tape measure to it, or measuring the snake skin afterwards. That's never gonna work right. If you try to measure the snake skin, it actually stretches and it's going to be bigger than what the snake actually is. And well, if you've ever tried to put a snake next to a measuring tape, you know you're not gonna actually be able to do that properly. So I'm gonna show you the easiest technique to use. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a piece of string like this here, and we're gonna start by holding it up by Emma's head. So I'm gonna hold it up like this if she'll sit still for me. And I'm gonna take my hand and it's approximately right even with her head there. And I'm just gonna run my hand down the body of the snake holding the string in between my hand. And when I get to the end here, I'm gonna mark my little piece of string with my finger. Now I can take that string and I can hold that up next to a tape measure and I can know exactly how long my snake is. Now a great little thing that you can do is if you're doing this all the time with the same snake, mark it here and record what that measurement is and what the date is. And then you'll be able to see progressively along the string the growth of your snake on that same piece of string. Okay, so next, weighing our snake. Easiest way to do that, first off, we're gonna take our snake scale here. We're gonna put our bin on top of it, and you'll see that it's reading the bin, so I'm going to zero it out so that it's down to zero again. Then I'm gonna take my snake, and I'm gonna put her inside of her bin. And now, I can see that she is 814 grams, and that's minus the bin off of that already. All right, so we'll just kind of go like this. And I'm gonna run my hand down the length of the string. She is 47 inches long. 